फाइव स्टार ब्रेकफेस्ट लंच एंड डिनर बुफे ऑल थ्री कमिंग अप इन दिस वीडियो everyone and welcome to sugar spice nice my name is shweta and in this video i am in agra i'm staying here at the courtyard by marriott and i'm going to be enjoying a lot of their food which i'm going to be sharing with you guys and in this video i'm actually going to be sharing with you all of my buffet experiences here the indulgent breakfast buffet the delicious lunch buffet and the very very satisfying dinner buffet all of these coming up in this video so make sure you watch the whole of it so this here is cafe momo and cafe momo is actually a very well known courtyard by marriott brand so that restaurant is there across various different courtyard by marriott properties and inside from what i hear it's quite a bigish area both in terms of seating space and in terms of display so let's just head inside and start indulging place is very nicely spread there are big tables and then there are smaller more cozy tables as well there's ample daylight coming so let me take you through the whole entire breakfast spread this here that you're seeing is the salad counter you can literally choose anything to make your own salad you'll find things like sprouts chickpeas boiled or steamed veggies lettuce and other leafy greens and you'll also find sesame oil olive oil and other dressing options so if you love to start your breakfast with something healthy then this is the counter for you along with salad they also have choice of cut fruit so you'll find pineapple watermelon papaya musk melon and various other seasonal fruit options you'll also find choice of yogurt over here so whether it's flavored yogurt or plain yogurt it's all here they also have different uh, drinks and juices so you'll find a detox water you'll find fresh juice juices like watermelon juice there was also a mixed fruit can juice and options like cold coffee cold milk everything is here there's also options for tea and coffee coming to the main breakfast spread the main variety here is indian and they've tried to cater to different uh, parts of india as well so there's breakfast from the north there's breakfast from the south there's a little bit of the east as well so this is the spread from the day i was filming you can see there's such a huge variety idlis luchis chole parathe on the other side you have masala dalia upma dal vada rasam vada another counter here that is very very interesting is the cereal counter so this is such a good variety of cereal there's wheat flakes there's muesli there's corn flakes there's chocos and there's also flavored cereal so there's strawberry flakes and you find a lot of stuff that can go into your cereal as well so seeds nuts honey it's all here coming to the patisserie section of the buffet you can find your choice of croissants plain chocolate you'll find smaller muffins and even tea cake or fruit cake then you'll find choice of danish as well so overall i would say the buffet spread is quite a bit of variety and these counters that i'm about to show you now level up the whole variety game so these are live counters so this is an egg station you can order made to order eggs of your choice whether it's sunny side up it's omelets it's scramble you want them with some meat in it that can all be done here now this is a counter where they have pancakes and waffles and you can choose your toppings and you can actually see the options for toppings so right from nutella to whipped cream you can enjoy your pancakes with any of that and then there's a dosa counter so you can enjoy dosa and uttapam here after going through the whole entire spread i am starting with the clean stuff and the first thing that i'm having is that detox water there's such a good variety of juices but i thought of starting with this wow it's literally infused with cucumber that's all the flavor i could get and moving on to some freshly chopped fruit there was musk melon watermelon pineapple papaya i'm starting with some pineapple the pineapple is feeling so fresh so juicy and it is like winter time now here because agra has been pretty cold at least for me with a little bit of the morning sun enjoying this fresh fruit i'm just really really feeling lovely this morning i was actually super happy with the variety of cereal they had i mean i saw wheat corn flakes strawberry and even regular muesli and also chocos so i just made my own little mix here with muesli and all of the seed options that they have and that and some strawberry flavored yogurt it almost feels like i'm cushioning my tummy for the indulgence that's about to come not just in this buffet but throughout the rest of the video they actually have live counters and there was a dosa station right next to it and i can't not eat a dosa right so i just got a sada dosa the sambar is always a bit too sour whenever i have it in the north but the dosa is good let's try the chutney mm the chutney is really really good it's uh, not over tempered that you can feel the freshness and that actual flavor from the coconut they also have a tomato chutney let's try that it's actually so nice to see healthier options in the breakfast menu so i don't think i've seen masala dalia very very often in breakfast and it's actually 
actually got a good deal of veggies as well. I knew I wanted to try this ever since I saw it. Crispy dal vada. Somehow the upma looks amazing and I'm really really tempted to try it. I don't know why I feel I'm going to get that masala maggi kind of taste from this. Not that taste but really tasty. It's got peas inside, a little bit of jeera and it's high on probably red chilli. It's not feeling dry. That's what happens with dalia very very often. It ends up feeling way more dry than it actually is. This is good. So honestly the reason I got tempted to try their upma was just the sheer texture. It's looking like a very nicely done upma. I think they've got the tempering right. A bit of chana dal, a little bit of rice. I couldn't see any curry leaves but here again in the north I don't see curry leaves too much so I'll excuse that. Let's try this. It's really really subtle in its flavor. I could do with a little bit more tadka like seasoning in the tadka but uh, I think texture wise they got it right. Now it's time to try the crispy dal vada. I can see a little bit of soft inside. Fennel. You can feel the wholeness of the dal. Dal still. The batter is not completely made into a paste. There's a lot of whole pieces of dal and I feel they add a different bite, a different texture to this. The outer part is beautifully crunchy. Inside in terms of flavoring, you can actually feel the flavor of the dal pretty much. There's not too much seasoning except the occasional coriander and the fennel inside. The fennel is actually giving a really nice lingering but a subtle flavor. Ever since I saw the luchis in the spread, I knew I had to have them. I think they have a little something in there. It's uh, probably coriander or methi or spinach. I'm having them with some aloo ki bhaji. Oh god, this is what I've been saving up my calories for. The aloo ki sabzi is mind blowing. So there's aloo, tomato. It's not a dry sabzi. It's a gravyish kind of sabzi. There is a lot of methi in it. That's just adding such a beautiful flavor. And there's also a generous amount of coriander. I also think those green bits in the luchi are probably methi because. The flavor of methi in this is just mind blowing. The luchis are piping hot. I don't know, this part has just made me so happy. The aloo sabzi also has a few bits of pepper that probably explains a bit of that hot aftertaste. But I have to say this, this is probably one of the best luchi and aloo experiences that I've had. I'm honestly so stuffed that uh, I don't think I want to eat too much of dessert but I'm trying to pick a little something. So here I'm having fruitcake and I'm having this little muffin and ending it with some chai. In terms of seating, this cafe is quite huge. There are seats by the window so you can enjoy some natural light. And there are also bigger tables so if you're a group of 10-20 people then there's ample space for everybody. This is the restaurant inside the hotel where they have all of their buffet spreads. So breakfast buffet happens here every morning. I think it starts around 7 and goes on up till 10.30. And you can enjoy it if you're staying here or you can especially come for it. I think it costs $6.99 plus time per person. It is an unlimited buffet with such a huge variety. All right, now it's time to show you the lunch buffet. Now I showed you guys the breakfast buffet. And between the breakfast and the lunch, there is one difference that there are not that many live counters, at least on a weekday. But the rest of the spread is looking mighty attractive. So let me just show you. This part here has their soups and appetizers and papar and stuff. And they have a vegetarian and a non-vegetarian soup as a soup of the day every single day. And then of course, they have a few appetizers which are on display here. And some of them even come to your table. In terms of main course, you'll find at least four or five different varieties in vegetarian and maybe two or three in non-vegetarian. I do feel like the buffet is skewing heavily towards the vegetarian side but honestly me being a vegetarian that's not really a problem. What is working for me is the sheer variety not just in the number of dishes but also the kind of dishes. So there is another whole section which has main course again but those are Asian and continental mains. has been so healthy with a plate of salad. I'm continuing that with a little bit of soup. And they actually have cream of spinach soup. Along with soup, I'm going to be picking up some bread. This is looking like focaccia. A little bit of butter. And they actually have paneer tikka and appetizers. So I'm definitely tempted to try that. Do you see how chapter that's looking? I'm going to be going course by course today and like really relishing each and everything that I'm having. One spoon and I realize that it's supremely healthy. So it's not got that conchla kind of texture, it's got that actual taste of spinach and there's not too much of flavoring and mixing around in it, which means it's the good stuff. Okasha looks good, I just need to taste good. Mm. There's a fair amount of herbs in it and had this been warm, it would have been like my meal for today. 
Now for the paneer tikka. Mm. So the paneer is absolutely flavorful. It is so much of a spicy flavor. I think you can figure that out by just looking at the paneer. It's not that soft melt in your mouth kind of paneer, but I think the masala in this, the marinade in this is what is magical. Ginger tea. Okay. I have a ginger drink. I think this is something that we're going to be needing after this heavy meal. Wow. This is like freshest ginger ale ever. We have some compliments of the chef in the form of jalapeno and cheese poppers. These are actually quite big, chunky enough, so the toothpick is not able to hold them. It's looking like a nice spicy mayo dip. The flavor of jalapeno is just out there, and there is a little bit of uh, cheesy, creamy aftertaste, but I think jalapeno overpowers everything in this, even the texture on the outside. All right, now I'm trying the Asian stuff. They actually had a fair bit of selection of Asian and continental. So I got myself some noodles, baked dish with uh, white sauce, lots of corn, the roasted veggies and mixed vegetables in hot garlic sauce. So first I'm just trying the wok toss noodles. They don't have much in them, just a hint of onion and garlic and they definitely do well with hot garlic sauce. I have to say the sauce here is not seeming unnaturally thick. It's feeling like it's got least amount of corn flour in it, which is something that I like. So it's a more liquid gravy. It's not like your typical thicker Asian gravies. The flavor is good. Variety of veggies are good. I think I got attracted to try the baked vegetable because of the amount of corn in it. I'm balancing this entire indulgence with a lot of veggies. So there was a whole pot of roasted vegetables, carrot, broccoli, mushrooms. So I got my picks. Trying the aloo gobi adraki first. The potato pieces are looking so inviting, like they're big, big potato chunks. Kind of stir fried uh, look, and that along with the pieces of cauliflower and tomato. Beautiful flavor, good tempering. You can feel the flavor of a little bit of cumin, a little bit of hing. It's not that high on ginger, but it's definitely a good aloo sabzi. The aloo pieces are like mind blowing. Now I'm trying the lasuni makai palak. Mmm. I think palak has been the star of my meal today. It's a good thing that it's palak season officially because the the way they've uh, used the vegetable is just wow. This is one of the best palak sabzis that I've had. The flavor of onion, the flavor of garlic, the flavor of corn. I think I like corn and palak a little bit more than paneer and palak. I know a lot of you guys are going to come at me for saying that, but uh, this is making me change my sides. The corn kernels also in this are so thick. It's almost like they're steamed corn kernels and inside they're kind of swollen up with all of the flavor. Next, I'm trying the paneer makhanwala. The gravy is very, very different than regular makhanwala gravy. I'm kind of missing the tanginess in the gravy and also that slight sweet aftertaste. This is the first time I've actually enjoyed lasuni palak more than paneer makhan. I'm trying the dal panchratna with white rice. This is mixed dals. I think it's masoor, black urad, probably a little bit of moong as well, maybe chana dal. This is like that proper delicious dal. This one is slightly on the spicy side. It has an aftertaste. The tomato in this is kind of toning down that heavy onion garlic flavor, but I'm overall really, really enjoying simpler things in this entire buffet. And who cannot be tempted by this massive dessert spread? At least seven to eight different types of cakes and stuff. And there's also Indian sweets. So there's rajbhog, gulab jamun, pirni, amongst and also the desserts are a good mix of ones which are vegetarian and ones which have egg. Today I'm trying the hazelnut. I don't know whether it's mousse or what but this is something with hazelnut. Mm. It's got a black forest kind of texture. Black forest kind of, not black forest. It's like a whole layer of hazelnut cream and then there's cake and that just keeps repeating. Good. Now a bite of the strawberry mousse cake. This is a bit over tarty. So I'm going to be trying the brownie. The brownie is good, but it does have that slight eggy aftertaste. I have no clue what this is, but this looked pretty enough, so I'm having it. Mmm, very different. So the lower part of the cake is a little bit dry. And on top, it's almost like a creamy covering. Pretty good. Now trying the gulab jamun. This is something that I've been waiting to have. Chashni or the sugar syrup actually has little bits of pista in it. I think so far, this is the best in sweet dish. So good, I'm having another one. It's time for rajbhog. I think I like rasgulla better. But I still like this. I think for me, what I thoroughly enjoyed in this buffet is the sheer amount of variety. And also that there are relatively more healthier options as well. Like the salad spread was mind-blowing. It was really fresh as well. And also the sabzis in the Indian main course. The Lasuni Palak, I still can't stop thinking about it. So for me, that stuff really won over. And you can also come and enjoy this buffet. It's not just for resident guests. And the cost of it is Rs. 11.99 plus tax per person. And it's an unlimited buffet.
Alright, welcome to dinner buffet and I'm back here at Momo Cafe and I'm taking you through the entire dinner buffet spread. So we have bread here and it's the same focaccia bread. In fact, it's looking a little bit more herb and we have some soup. So today in vegetarian, they have broccoli and almond soup and in non-veg, we have the chicken manchao soup. Then we have the whole appetizer section. I think the non-vegetarian options during dinner are a little bit more than lunch and breakfast. Hare matar ki tikki. Then we have cauliflower manchurian. I actually realized that they have legit pickle jars here. I don't think I noticed them during lunch. This is Nimbu pickle and this is I think some mixed veg pickle. And here we have like assorted essentials, sirke wale piyaz, chutney, mirchi, lime. You guys know I've been really loving their salad counter. The stuff is fresh. Keep coming up with like new new stuff. So here I can actually see things that I'm tempted to have. The creamy fruit salad, the som tam salad. In fact, I'm gonna get a plate and get some. And these are all of their dips, I think. Uh, there are a few new ones. There's hummus. It seems to be like tzatziki, I'm not too sure. All right, I'm starting with the creamy fruit salad. I think this is pieces of melon, probably apple and pineapple in a um, creamy dressing. I like that the dressing is not tasting overly cheesy. It's really nicely herb. I think in this kind of a fruit salad, the thing that I love the most is pineapple. And now for my favorite som tam salad. I think this is probably the only Thai dish that I enjoy. As much as I love Thailand, I need to develop a palate for their cuisine. But this som tam salad, I absolutely love. It's a salad made from raw papaya. It is on the spicy side. They have switched it up a bit. There's a little bit of purple cabbage, a little bit of grated carrot. It doesn't have that signature spicy aftertaste, although I can see bits of red chili in it. But it's a good salad. All right, now I'm trying the hari matar ki tikki. It's nice, but I think it has like a light dry aftertaste. And I feel like I'll enjoy it more with probably chutneys or sauces. I was so surprised to see that they have gobi manchurian. It's a little bit more subtle than regular manchurian. I think Gobi Manchurian originated probably somewhere in Kerala or somewhere in the south. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys know. For dinner, they have a multiple choice live counter section. It's there in breakfast also. If you guys have seen that part of the video, you'll know. And right now, they actually have live pasta. There's chaat. So I think I'm going to be going in for chaat first and then pasta. Here at the Golgappa counter and they actually have Meetha Bani also and I'm so relieved seeing that. Every time I've had chaat outside in North India, I'm like craving Meetha Bani or Meethi Chat. This is what the Pani is looking like. It's a more lighter green. The interesting thing is that you can also see bits of Jeera. Like normally, you, I know there is powdered Jeera in it but actual whole bits. One peculiar thing in Pani Puri in North is that it has a very prominent sour aftertaste and I found that here as well. The stuffing is of aloo. I asked them what are the chaat items they have. They have had uh, dahi balla chaat and they also had bhel puri so I am now having the dahi balla chaat it's almost like a dahi balla and papri chaat I've never seen dahi balla be like crushed like that unless of course it's inside in a uh, raj kachori or something very different the imli chutney is like up there in terms of sourness I think I like dahi balla like plain with a lot more jeera powder and red chili powder I don't eat papri with it everybody told me that the namkeen in agra is super famous I know that the dal mot is famous but since I saw some namkeen here I thought of trying it. Live counter that I'm trying is the pasta section and uh, it's almost reminding me of a shadi ka pasta counter. I know they do it very differently but here there's a good deal of options in terms of toppings and sauces and I'm going to be having the pink sauce pasta. All veggies or pink sauce, no mushroom. Not just at weddings, I particularly enjoy live pasta counters even in buffets. They just do it so well. Flavors and all are just bang on point. So here first he started by tossing some garlic and some olive oil and then went in the veggies just for that really mild stir fry feel and then went in the sauces so since this is a pink sauce pasta that I've ordered there is going to be red sauce and also the white sauce the bechamel sauce then finally pasta a lot of herbs and a lot of good mixing later we have this lovely looking pasta the pasta is actually looking so good I'm just sharing some of it on my Instagram stories if you guys don't follow me on Instagram you totally should all right pink sauce pasta for the win it's creamy I like the veggies in it it's perfectly tangy this is a good pasta let me take you through the main course section now. We have wok toss noodles, then there's Thai curry, cauliflower mornay. It's feeling like a cauliflower based baked dish. Then we have ratatouille, and then we have some herbed vegetables. This side we have steamed rice, dal amritsari. I think this is kind of like a black dal. Then we have paneer lababdar. 
dum aloo. This is not a tomato based dum aloo. And we have mutter mushroom masala. And dinner options are definitely more special than the breakfast and lunch one. There's veg biryani. These are the non vegetarian options. So, in non vegetarian, actually, in the dinner, they have chicken dishes, there's mutton dishes, and there's also fish. I think I've overindulged in the pasta and stuff, so I'm going to be skipping the mains and going straight to dessert. The Indian variety of dessert is just wow. There's kheer, there's churma laddu, then there's chocolate barfi, which I am tempted to try. There's moong dal halwa, and this is looking rich. Like, just look at the amount of cashews in it and the ghee. Then there's Danish pudding, which I don't feel like having. Chocolate cake, I don't think I'm in the mood for chocolate today, strangely. And then we have assorted pastries. So there's strawberry, I think there's a bit of mint as well. Let's try if it is, in fact, mint. There's also a sugar free variety in dessert, but you know what I want? this pineapple pastry this is not just for one this is for two so don't judge i'm really keen to see whether that is in fact mint or not it's not pineapple pastry is actually looking amazing so many chunks of fresh pineapple just got a piece of that sour and sweet flavor we're going to be trying the chocolate barfi also with you guys mm. This is really good. The barfi part is amazing. It's like melting your mouth. The chocolate part is okay. It's feeling like, I don't know, Bon Vita or Milo. It's got that kind of a chocolate flavor, but the barfi part is mind blowing. So, what I'm going to be doing is enjoying my dessert and seeing you guys. So, those were all of my buffet experiences here at Courtyard by Marriott. I wanted to give you guys a fair view of whatever is served here in the buffet. I'm also staying here at the Courtyard by Marriott in Agra and also touring around Agra. So, if you want to watch those videos, then I'm going to leave a few links in the description description box below but make sure you're subscribed to my channel to stay updated with all of my travels and i hope this helps you guys if you're booking a stay here i hope you enjoyed this video as well if you did then you know what you have to do hit that like button share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you in my next video bye